I wanted to talk today about some of the very late glaze wares from the upper La upper Colorado River region. These are the Pinawa glaze on whites, uh, the Quaquinas, and then the uh, Keshi Ponds. That's Quaquino. This is the earlier. Actually, from hash we go Quaquina. And I probably should restore this bowl. It's really beautiful. Real fine line, a lot of charcoal on this yet. That's a nice bowl. I should probably put that together. Uh, from the hash of Tuthlanas come the uh, Quaquinas, and then it goes to the glaze wares. So these overlap date wise, all of the stuff overlaps. But it goes into these Pinawa glaze on whites, which are just gorgeous. And they have uh, this gorgeous manganese pigment, but it's real runny. And it. Uh, it runs when it's fired. This has three units on the outside. Could be a bear paw. And this one has another pin of a glaze on white. This has two parrots. There's a parrot. And there's a parrot. And then again, this green manganese pigment. Fun stuff. This one has two, two parrots on the interior. Very stylized, but that's the parrot, that's the, the beak and the body and the tail feathers. Probably water ripples in the in between. Exterior has four. And sometimes you get this purplish effect too with these manganese pigments. This one is water dots on earth land. Very nice. There again the green, shiny green glaze wares. Um, Notice, too, how fine that clay is. It's really beautiful stuff. Into the Keshi Ponds, which have these wonderful units on the outside. Notice the, the green pigment again, but very sloppily applied. Probably very difficult to handle off a brush, maybe. It maybe it didn't flow very well off a brush. I have to do some experiments. Here again. Keshi Pond. Greens and oranges. And one more example here real quick. This is a little higher fire. This is more like, almost like a hesh. In fact, I almost wonder if that might be a cross. I'm going to call it a cashew pond. Beautiful.